I'm out in Mills County in August of 2025 and found another cool tree species that I wanted to talk about. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of these beautiful white flowers here. Now, if you listen closely, you can maybe hear some barking. Well, uh, maybe these trees don't actually bark, but they are called dogwood. This is Cornus drummondii in the Cornacee family, and this is our Central Texas dogwood. Uh, another name for this is uh, the rough leaf dogwood because these leaves are drought adapted, and so they're a bit more rough than some of the dogwoods we have in East Texas and the wetter forests. Roughness in leaf usually indicates that it's going to grow in a more arid environment. If you look closely, it's got all these tiny white flowers. It always has four petals, uh, just four tiny white petals, and it is just a really beautiful tree. So this isn't a very large tree. It can probably get up to about 30 feet on average, uh, but it does have opposite leaves. This is kind of important, uh, where the leaves come out together. They come out in pairs. So it's got really large pointed leaves with uh, very pronounced veins. Deer and other browsers really love this dogwood. It's a very desirable species for wildlife. And here you can see the berries. So the flowers have those little white petals and then as they uh, get fertilized and start to grow a fruit, they turn into little hard white berries and they can be squished and they're kind of milky. They have like a milky sap on the inside. These are not edible to us, but lots of wildlife do really like them. So this is just a really cool tree. Um, it's very highly sought after for an ornamental species. So lots of people uh, use it in plantings. It's very hardy in uh, the central Texas region. It's very good with drought resistance after it gets established. And it's just a good tree overall. And it's gonna be one of those better uh, mid-level trees that's going to grow and just be a great native addition to any landscape.